What is the total charge carried by all electrons of a US penny? You know that one mole of copper is 64 grams and it contains 6 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. One mole of zinc is 65 grams and it is 6 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. Welcome to hdtvedu.com, direct and simple education in seconds. Please do not copy our material. Thank you. The U.S. penny, believe it or not, it started with 95% copper, but today it is 95% zinc and 5% copper. So let's, for simplicity, assume that the U.S. penny is made of zinc as opposed to copper. So one mole of zinc, 65 grams, has roughly 6 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. A penny is 2.5 grams. So 65 grams contains 6 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. That means 2.5 grams should contain much less. So what is the number of atoms per gram? 6 times 10 to the power of 23 divided by 65. And if you multiply that number by 2.5, we get 0 0.225, 0 0.225 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. Please pause the video and follow the math. So number of atoms in 2.5 grams is 0 0.225 times 10 to the power of 23. Atomic number of zinc is 30. So number of atoms in 2.5 grams is 0 0.225 times 10 to the power of 23. That's how many number of atoms you have. Each atom has 30 electrons. So multiply the number of atoms by 30 and you get the total number of electrons and multiply that number by the charge carried by the electron and you get the total charge in coulombs. So we have 600, 675 times 10 to the power of 21 electrons and now we need to multiply this number by the charge carried by one electron and what do we get? 675 thousand, six hundred and seventy five thousand, one hundred and sixty coulombs. So you see, it's a lot of coulombs. When we transfer charge, when we transfer charge from one object to another by rubbing, only a tiny fraction of the available charge move. Thank you, Joseph Straley, Kumbh Subhasami, Keith McAdam, Ed Hughes, Jesse Weil, Alan Curtin, Abhinesh. This is George Matthews signing off. Good luck.